As humans, we spend a lot of time shaving. Whether you're a guy shaving your face or a girl shaving your legs, doesn't matter. For some of us, it's something we do every day. In fact, the average guy will spend 3,000 hours of their life shaving. The average woman, 1,700. That's a lot of time cutting hair. Razors are a $3 billion industry. That's crazy, not even talking about grooming in general, just razors like the ones we have here. There's so many of them out there. You have cartridge razors, disposable razors, safety razors, straight razors. How do you choose and how much money do you spend on it? Today we're gonna to discuss expensive versus cheap razors and is it worth it to spend more money on a better, more expensive razor? I've got three different razors we're gonna talk about today. The first one, a disposable razor a cartridge razor, and a double-edge safety razor. All three of these are different price points. In fact, I spent $1 on a pack of five of these babies. So we'll put that over here. I spent $10 on this Harry's five blade cartridge razor. Now that's without the blades, that's just the razor. I spent $40 on this Edwin Jagger double-edged safety razor. Again, without the blades. We're gonna evaluate these razors in three different ways. Number one, physical appearance. How does it feel? What is it made out of? And what do the blades look like? Number two, total cost of ownership. You have to remember that it's not just about the razor, it's also the blades and how often you have to replace them. And number three, most importantly, how does it shave? Is it comfortable? Does it get the job done? And is it worth it spending more for a different, more expensive razor? This is a true disposable razor. Again, we'll get into the cost later on, but these are very, very cheap. You get them in a multi-pack. Per razor, this is like 25 cents. So if you look at the construction, it's all plastic. It's very, very light. And they try to come up with these little patterns here to help you grip or, or whatever. Some of them are a little bit different, but they're all relatively similar. This one here has two blades. As you can see, try to get it in the light. It's got two blades. The thing about the disposable, obviously, is that you can't pick your blades. And as you get more into shaving, blades are a big deal. There's so many different ones, and they all have different properties. So with this, you get what you get. It also has a little bit of a comfort guard here, this green strip, which, you know, once you get it wet, uh, it becomes a little bit more slick and it helps for a more comfortable shave. This one here also has a little button on top right here by my finger, and when you press it, I don't know if you can see in the light, a little bar comes down, and what that does, is, and it helps you get the hair out between the blade. And again, remember, this is a true disposable. So on average, men, when they're shaving their face, will use this twice and then throw it away. Some people use, uh, use it for a whole week, three, three, four, five times. Some people use these as single use, but we'll go with the average two times per razor. This is one of my all-time favorite razors. It's made by Harry's, and it's a five-blade cartridge razor. So it comes like this. You simply put these two pieces together, and there you go, you're all set. As far as construction, it's have definitely heavier than the disposable razor. It's got a nice, thick rubber handle, very easy to hold on to. Uh, especially when it's wet. As far as the blades, it's a five blade here, and it's a nice, thick, white comfort guard here that gets nice and slick and comfortable when it's wet. And it also has this, these rubber ribs down here as well that helps it glide over your skin and prevent razor irritation. These blades also, just like the disposable, you don't get to pick your razor blades. But the thing about these is that they're great blades. They're very, very sharp and they last quite a while. I will typically use one blade about four different times. The material that it's made out of is all plastic with some rubber. And again, very, very good cartridge razor. Okay, the last razor we're gonna look at is a double-edge safety razor. This one here is made by Edwin Jagger. And the first thing you notice, number one, it's very small. So if you look compared to the Harry's, it's almost half the size and it's almost twice the weight, if not three times the weight. This is all metal, it's stainless steel with a chrome finish, and it's very heavy. 
uh, and you just feel like it's it's a solid product. The difference between this and the other two razors is that you will choose your razor blade and purchase it separately. Now when you buy something like this, it does come with a little sample pack uh, with maybe four or five, uh, maybe even 10 razors. It just depends on the product. But that's the thing. As you get more into shaving, the razor blades become a big part of it. And this way you get to customize which blades you like. Because they, like I said before, they all have different properties. Here's an example of two different razor blades right here. Now this is a double edge razor. These are single blades for a, a different product that I already had. I just wanted to show you the different brands. This one here is Shark. And this one here is Derby. Both good products, it just depends on what you like. They do feel differently on your skin. The basic principle of this here is if you see on top, there are two openings, one on this side and one on this side. That's where the double blade goes. So there's a blade that comes out here, there's a blade that comes out here, and you can shave this side and then this side, and then you rinse your blade. Typically, for these types of razors, they're single-use blades. You're gonna use this one time throw it away, and then put a different blade on next time you shave. Now we're gonna talk about cost. And not just the cost of the, the razor, but remember, it's also the blades. Now in this case, as I mentioned before, I paid $1 for a pack of four of these razors. So that's 25 cents for one of these guys. And there is no extra cost for blades. It is what it is. So if we look at the total cost over a monthly period, Say you shave four times a week. That's approximately 16 times a month. If you use each razor twice, that means per month you're gonna need eight razors. So that's $2 a month, guys. $2 a month for something like this, total cost. Okay, so next let's talk about the Harry's cartridge razor total cost. You can buy them online, you can buy them in the store. So I'm gonna be rounding here with a $10 bill because it's some places it's cheaper, sometimes it's a little bit more. But basically, for the razor itself, just like this, with one blade, it's about $10. Now, you wanna buy additional blades and they sell these in packages of five, eight, 16, I think. But on average, each blade that you buy is about $2. So sticking with the average we used before is a total cost for the month of $24 for the Harry's cartridge razor. Now we're gonna look at the double edge safety razor total cost. Again, this one is about $40. Sometimes it's a little bit less, sometimes it's a little bit more depending on where you buy it. And remember, that's just for the razor and whatever sample blades come in the pack. So for this particular product, I got a sample pack of five razor blades. So let's go through the math just like we did before. I'm gonna need 16 razor blades for this because they're single use and I shave about 16 times a month. So it came with five, so I'm gonna need 11 more blades. So when you buy blades for this type of razor, I always go on Amazon and they come in large packs of 100. I like Derby right now, that's what I've been using. So for a pack of 100 Derby blades with shipping, it's $8. So for the first month, you're looking at a total of $40 for the razor and $8 for the blades $48. So let's sum up the total cost real quick for all three of these razors. The disposable razor right here is going to cost you $2 every month. Now the difference is when we get into month two and beyond on the other two razors here, you're not going to need to buy the razor itself again. You just need to buy the blades. So in the long run, is this really the cheapest option? Is this option cheaper than this option? Let's find out. So $2 every month. For the Harry's five blade right here, when you go to buy extra blades online or at the store, it's about $2 a blade. And the best way to do it is you buy a pack of eight. So that's $16 a month on blades. $2 a month, $16 a month just on blades. And if we look at the safety razor, remember we bought that pack of 100 blades. So that's gonna last us completely through month two and even beyond. So the month two cost is gonna be zero. So after two months, guys, you've spent $4. 
you've spent $40 and you've spent $48. So by the end of month two, you can see that yes, this is still the cheapest option by far. This, something like this is gonna be a little bit less than something like this. But what's interesting is if you play it out into months three, four, five, and six, look at this. The construction is solid on this. You're gonna hold on to this razor for years. So you're only gonna be buying blades at 100 a time. So there will be a point in time, everybody, and this is very, very important, and this is how razor companies make their money. Listen, it's not about this. This is a handle. It's a piece of junk. They make their money off the blades because you have to continue to buy them. And for Harry's, you're gonna spend $16 every month, and that's conservative. So think about it. Use this when you look at razors in the future. So now for the fun stuff. This is gonna be the most important part. Yes, the disposable and the cartridge are a little bit met less money, especially the disposable. So for $4 every two months, is it okay? How's the shave? Is it decent? Or do I need to spend $40 or $10 for something a little bit better? Let's go find out right now. All right, here we are back in the good old Shaving with Steve studio. Awesome place. We're going to do this. I'm going to shave a little bit of my face with each of the three razors, and we're going to see the results. And we'll be able to tell if it's going to be worth it spending that extra money on a better razor, or if you just spend $2 every month and just use those disposables. We'll find out. So to shave today, we're gonna to be using two things. Shaving cream is gonna be my Henry Cavendish Luxury Shave Soap. This is a great product, guys. If you haven't seen it yet, check out my video up on top here where I go over the review of that shaving cream. It's an awesome product. I'm also gonna be using my Omega Shave Brush, made in Italy, another great product. In that same video with the Henry Cavendish, I also used this shave brush for the first time and talked a little bit about it, so be sure to check out that video after this. All right, I'm gonna get some hot water on my face, I'm gonna lather up my shave cream, and we'll get ready to go. Also, before I get my shave cream on, I just wanted to show you how long my facial hair is today. I did this on purpose, because after one or two days growth, any razor works just fine because the hair is so short. But as it grows out, you're really going to want a sharp blade and a good razor to be able to get through that hair. So this will be a good test for all three razors. All right, I'm ready to go. Number one is going to be this disposable 25 cent razor. I'm going to take three swipes each on my face. One here, one here, and one on the neck. And we'll see how it goes. All right, number one. So you can see, it did cut through. It got down to the skin. Here's number two. Uh, that one missed quite a few hairs there. And number three. That didn't do so well there. There's a lot of hair left. All right, number two, Harry's cartridge razor. That's a big difference. That's a big difference. It's smoother, it cut the hair closer to the skin, and it was basically more comfortable. Yep, same. Closer shave and it's more comfortable. All right, last but not least, the safety razor. It's not as close with one swipe, it's not as close of a shave as the Harry's. But think about it, the Harry's has five blades. This has one. But overall, the comfort 
is top notch on this razor. Let's try again. So I missed a lot of spots. So look, the downside, and this is just a fact, is that a cartridge razor is meant to be quick and easy and pretty comfortable. It's not meant for taking your time and really enjoying the shave. It's just about getting it done. And it does a great job at that. I just realized I didn't do the next swipe on the Harry, so we'll do that now. Yeah. Same thing. Close shave, comfortable, uh, and easy. All right, so I'm gonna finish up shaving. I'm not gonna tell you which razor I'm gonna use because guess what? It's none of your business. Just because one of these razors may be easier or better than the other one doesn't mean that we all have our personal favorites. So I'm gonna use my personal favorite. I'll be right back. So I'm all done shaving now. Let's go over how each razor performed and the pros and cons of each one. So up first, we have the disposable razor, 25 cents. What are the pros of this? It's super, super cheap. What are the cons? Everything else. It sucks. It really does. The shave wasn't good. It wasn't able to cut enough hairs per swipe uh, to make it efficient. It wasn't comfortable on the skin. You could just tell it's a cheap razor. So my thoughts on using one of these, that's what I think. Up next we had the cartridge razor. This one is from Harry's. Look, it's an awesome razor, okay? Do I want to love it? Eh, I don't know, because I'm really getting into the shaving thing. The trendy aspect of it, and there's so many little details that I love about some other more fancy shaving products. But like at the end of the day, it's an awesome product. Harry's, you make a great razor. Cartridge razors in general are good. They're not too expensive. Yes, you have to continually pay for the blades and the blades aren't that cheap. So that's one thing that you have to take into consideration. But as far as the shave, it works really, really well. It's a smooth shave. It's very quick and easy to use. Uh, and it's very safe. Out of all the razors I've tried so far doing this YouTube channel, the cartridge type razor is the safest one I've used. So bottom line, I like it. And lastly, we have the double edge safety razor. This is a very traditional type razor. This one here is Edwin Jagger. By the way, check out my last video up here where I did a review on this one. Okay, so look guys, that razor is awesome. I love it, but is it a luxury? Yeah, it is. Because compared to the cartridge razor, it doesn't get any better of a shave. You take your time more because it's not as safe, but I love it because of the way it feels and it's more of the experience in using it while you shave. I think your best bet is to go with one of these because you'll hold on to this for a long, long time and as the months go on, it becomes less and less expensive versus something like this with the cartridge. It works great, it's quick and easy, but every month you gotta spend 10, 15, 20 dollars sometimes just on the blades. So it's up to you. Now you have a lot more data to use on your research. Thanks so much for watching guys. This was a really fun one to make. I appreciate all the support and we'll catch you next time. See ya.